Boo. Howdy y'all guys. So you're back at it for the sixth time already. Yeah. Let's just get left get back to where we started. Now I think we started, but let's just go back to where Yuri came. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I will feel bad for distracting her from her reading. I catch a glimpse of the book, cover of the book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, crap, she noticed me. I think she noticed me looking at her. She takes another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. Bruh. Okay. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. She's blushing. Look at her, she's blushing already. Sorry. I was just facing out. I wanted this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book they gave me, right? I want to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, I, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, she doesn't even know what she's saying, is she? Oh well. Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something very obvious here that you isn't telling me, but I decided to, to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What is it about anyway? Well, hmm. You read close to the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Like, spoil it for me? Okay. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost secret sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. Bruh. As I feel the SCP vibes here. I'm not trying to explain what it is, but still, look for it. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. I feel some sort of foreshadowment in this shit. That's kind of that's kind of dark, isn't it? You know what I mean? It sounds like it's going it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> you generally giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a friend of of that sort of thing sense? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that you were into these things. What do you expect? She's so sorry every class on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's the inside that counts, my friend. It's the insides. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. The horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. And suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they are made out to be naive from letting one side the morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm, I'm rendering, aren't I? N not again. Oh, Yuri? Yuri? I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I have a lot of interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then, but I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I think like books and writing through my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. There's this story if I start talking too much. That's... Uh, I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah. That's... well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. Uh -huh, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you were, say, you were looking forward to it. 
Uh, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieve the book that I had to put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, that right? I sit into the seat next to you, Reese. Ah. Yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't do you too. It's just that I'm. Today, I'm not very used to. That's re that is really inconvenient with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up disrespecting you or anything. Uh, Alright. I will not book and start to the prologue. I still understand what Yuri means about reading company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. Oh boy. At least that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It's like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, oh my god. She's blushing way too hard. Haha. <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slam my desk onto it so you can see Yuri. Then I hold my book more the, between the two of them. Huh. I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we leave in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Hmm, it feels like my left arm is in the way, so I said I use my right hand to hold the book open. Oops. Ah. Uh, wait, now right. Let's get back to it. Ah. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Okay. Oh my. We got we got a good feel from here, eh? Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and her forefinger. Ah, my god, my golly. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her tongue after it plays to her side. So like, synchronize? It's like two people operating one machine. It's like Pacific Rim or something. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. Hmm, are you sure? Okay. It's as if I can feel the warmth from Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Okay. Open the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a little distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep out with her. As used to reading, right? But I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been patient with me. Yeah, yeah. I call cool with Yuri. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. Continue the first chapter in silence. And so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My Tom gently let him go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds you a little bit. You, you think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all of the things she, she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your hair or something. But they are kind of elements of some of your manners though. I see. You really may sound for a moment. But sense, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Ooh, that's so interesting that you think that. Wait, wait, oh no, I didn't mean that in a bad way or anything. Sorry if I didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Oh my, I guess I'm, I'm more meant that it's kind of cute. Ah, why are you saying all of a sudden? I, okay everyone, and want to cut size in. I think it's about time we share to this moment with each other. We might not even have enough time if we wait too long. Yuri exhales, spare from finishing her thought. 
Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. I said it's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Ow. Alright, I guess I'll do some reading, more reading tonight then. Or will you deprive I only read with you? Oh, I guess I don't have too much of a premise either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with uh, you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's a good reason. In that case, feel free to finish the first chapters in your own time. Alright, then. I stand up. Make a mental move of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Alright, let's just share, share some poems, shall we? Let's just start with Monica. Hi again, Sans. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come out with a masterpiece. Uh -huh, I wouldn't come that. You'll never know. Wanna share your why you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my phone to Monica. Hmm. Alright. Great job, Sans. I was going for going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure how my poem literally looks like. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go to something so deep. Oh I see. I guess I understand underestimated you. It's easiest to for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. Uh-huh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it were anyway. You know, that you really likes this kind of writing, right? Yep, I'm going for her. A writing that's full of chemistry and symbolism. I like Sari who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. You really like to say when readers are not to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively, but for allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze of all the nuances. It can take years to practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked him. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. If you do your own thing, just keep exploring and then learn by trying new things. But anyway, you want to be my poem now? I like the way this time went around, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's just take a look. Save me, the colors won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding piercings, red, green, blue, and a little casually ominous noise. No noise, it won't stop. Violent, creating waveforms, speaking, screeching, piercing, sign contact, like a playing chocolate on a turd. Like a bit, like a bit of a piece of crust, an endless of home of the English. Note me. God, it is sad for her. Like, it's sad for her. I already know this shit already. Sorry for the short shadow and shit, but I played this game already. Hmm. It's even more extreme than your last one, eh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never say that. It's just a kind of thing I've really never seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of your poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines is really sharp, makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to think what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes I asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. Yeah, it's basically figuring out what the meaning is. Poem can be as extra as a physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not everyone poems about something. Anyway, here's one of your best writing here of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult situation. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Thanks for the tip, son. You never know when you might change your mind, or when something unexpected may happen. But is this even to your writing? I might do the ending, but I'm lazy. What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. 
I'll do as I may go. Anyway, let's talk to Yuri, cause I literally write about for her. Let's see what you have written for today. Yuri says the poem with a surprise expression on her face. Do you like it? Sans, how do you pick out on me so quickly? The she says that I was telling you the kinds of things were passing things. We that's why. You didn't chunk out of explaining though. You really did. I only wanted to give it more imagery. Yuri creatively solves. Even her hands appear at the knee sweet arm spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and clocks her thoughts. I know that Yuri like, likes to think before she speaks. Sorry for that patron story. Yeah. Just being appreciate like this, I guess. Probably sounds really stupid, but seeing some motivated by my writing it just makes me really happy. Aww. Are you saying that you've never shared your writing before? Maybe not. Really? I don't believe it. I really don't only write to myself. And besides, people who would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, you think not. Huh. Even your close friends? Maybe it doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway. You wanna share your phone viewer today? Yeah. I do. If it's with you. This gotta be a long one, so let's just speed run this, eh? Closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and convey emotions to them. Yeah, if I, if I take it as a face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's about something that different people can relate to it in, in their own way. I want to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more usual hobbies. It's those sort of things I use usually for the keep my food. So I can just enjoy everything about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Maybe because they're embarrassing. People make fun of me. But I don't. Don't you have anything like a sense? Well, yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everything has a little side to that. The best way you can do is with each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes, and something makes things makes us uncomfortable. After all, if I had to learn to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I might be writing a little bit. I'm glad that you're a listener. Alright, two down, two to go. And let's go for Nut Saki. <laughs> hmm. I like your last one better. Eh, really? Well, yeah, I could tell you were a little more than the sun. Yeah. But you're not, you're really not good enough for the, that yet. It felt flat. It may be true, but I, I just wanted to try something different. I still figured this all out. I mean, I always like poems that aren't trying too hard. I hate when people try to sound fancy or add more meaning just by using annoying and complicated language. So you're easy going, eh? Let's make it simple, cute, and to the point. Bruh, you his head over your heels for all this critic nonsense. But see right through that bullshit. Bruh, hot. Making your reader look so hard for all these deep meaning is just an excuse to have no meaning at all. I guess that's my way to look at it. So everyone has their own opinion. My um, opinion is just the best opinion. I'm sure you figured that already. Uh, anyways, here's my move. Maybe you'll love something. Alright, one more long poem. So, three, two, one. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. 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 I
Hmm. Maybe she is being so sundere all of a sudden. Probably to Yuri, but I'm not sure. Not bad, right? It's quite a, a bit long than third yesterday's. Yesterday was was way too short. I was just warming up. I really didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the actually is pretty straightforward in this poem. I don't think I have to explain it. The only thing I explain from the field is just to use simple analogies. And yes, people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this is an ignorant jerk. You know, people like that? Of course, it's what I, how everything thinks mine. That doesn't matter. It, it, it could be anything or anything. It could be your love about something. I don't know. I don't know because it could be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or to a guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out they make fun of you or think less of you. Why don't just make it people stupid? Who cares about some, what someone likes? As long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. <laughs> oh my. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Huh, that's funny. You remember about, about something similar today? Huh? Did you say Yuri? Yeah. She said her phone was about an unusual hobby song. I didn't really get it, but she says something similar to you. That people shouldn't make each other feel insecure about those things. Really? Well, I mean, you're pretty weird, so I, I would have doubt that she has some weird hobbies. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Ooh, it's not like I would judge or anything. Suspicious. That's okay, has trouble finding words. I guess I shouldn't try not to be so mean to her. She feels insecure about her weird behavior and stuff. I mean, I would say people who make me feel insecure. And you made me feel insecure yesterday. But the way you put it, it sounds like she's learned her lesson. Well, I guess you would say so. You couldn't hear writing so it's really different. I'm sure she would appreciate myself in your poem. It's what I do guys after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. My companion info just impo is important. And I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm gonna write a group out for tomorrow too, so look forward to it. So the last one is Shariari, the bubbly cherry from your childhood friend. Hmm. Ooh, I like this one sense. He has some nice feelings in it. Ah, I'm glad. Still though. You told me to sound like you did like yesterday's poem better. Hey hey, I guess you caught me. So nice that you know me a little too weird for my own good. Well don't just try to be nice about it. If I'm doing a bad job then I'd rather just hear it. No, no, no. I still like this one. I promise. You know, I wouldn't lie to you, Sen. Never ever. Are you sure? Yeah, I guess so. What made yesterday's poem so great, com great compared to this one? Then? Um, well, I'm not very good at figuring out if most are good bad. That's just why I go by my heart. If it makes you feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's how it works. And again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't feel you even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Bruh. Ugh. Why don't you at least try giving some fun? Oh, you wanted to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might have some getting at some point. Eh? You know, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep in mind. Well, whatever. Anyways, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Hey, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes it's a little bit of both. There's a word for it for that, right? What's that word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. Happy things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can, I can see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little wrinkle in your head, a sad poem can give you the wrinkle a little hug. Uh-uh. And make a nice happy rainbow. <laughs> Sorry, that's unexpectedly poetic. Eh? It is. 
me, I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Takes sense. I should go write that down then. Hmm, maybe you should. I can read my poem now, okay? Alright, another long one, eh? It's hot puzzles. Okay, 3, 2, 1, go. with my feelings recently. I see that. Hmm. It's almost like kind of creepy. Creepy? But not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to being cheerful. Oh, never mind. I'm thinking too hard for it. The point is, it can't go. So you should be proud of it. Oh, thanks. I feel like I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. Because you got really passionate about this, huh? How about you keep it up? Yeah, writing is the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. I see. Ah, uh, forget it, hate of yourself. There is always a hell of having of getting obsessed with something before trying to read it in no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of her types. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Yeah, I'm uh, just gonna end here after reading all those poems and reading of the book with theory. So yes, I'm gonna save here and be on my way. See you guys in the next video. Bye!